Rachel, what is Mandarin Oriental up against in uh, New York during New Year's Eve? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, New York, just in general for the holiday season, is just um, a huge tourist attraction. There's, you know, the tree in Rockefeller Center, there's ice skating, there's New York, or there's, a, you know, Central Park uh, horse and carriage rides. It's kind of like everything. Um, you know, everyone has really amazing uh, store displays in their windows, and it's just kind of a place where I think that a lot of people really enjoy being during the holidays. So, what is Mandarin? have to do to stand out? Well, I think that, um, you know, it has a really great location. It's right in Columbus Circle. And, uh, you know, th by targeting different types of people, they have kind of a family-oriented one. Um, they have one just for women, you know, girls' night, um, and then just for, like, a couple kind of going to a black tie gala. I think they're, they're trying to target something for everyone. Now, have you seen any other promotions from uh, other luxury hotels in New York that are targeting holiday travelers? I haven't seen any yet, um, but I know that there's they're definitely going to be coming. <laughs> um, we've seen, a, you know, a ton last year. Everyone kind of wants to, um, you know, I think that, and the thing about that is I think they're all trying to target different groups of people, kind of like Mandarin Oriental is, because it doesn't matter if you're with your family or with your uh, spouse or something, you know, it's just kind of an experience for everyone, and I'm uh, interested to see what other hotels come up with. Great, thank you.